Good morning, everybody. Painblade back here again from Server 1 representing IEC and happy Rin Festival, everybody. Damn, what a login bonus. Look at this 250 Shino coins, 500, 500, 250, 1000, and it continues. So, this is pretty incredible to log into, guys. Very generous of Bandai for doing this to their player base. And then, also on top of that, you get the December player login bonus, which is the usual 250 a pop every day. So, again, very cool. Brand new month. Let's get into it, okay? So, the first thing you're going to do when you log in, guys, you're going to get an SR a Naruto. Naruto Uzumaki for Rin Festival and you can get up to 5 star by collecting his fragments and weapon fragments through just doing gift campaigns. You can also get uh, in the marketplace a, a couple of packs, a small pack, uh, a medium, a large and an XL pack which are worth Ryo uh, and then you can also do the new drills which give you double the gold and double the EXP so greater rewards and I hope those are permanent but I doubt it and you can get up to 5,000 Shino coins but just by logging in which is enough for 20 summons. Uh, you can, and to celebrate, they're also going to throw in a few packs. So you get this Rim Festival pack, which gives you stamina, elixirs, uh, elixir promotions, and other stuff. You get the UR pack with the Awakening Stones, the SR pack with the promotions, and then the SR pack with the Awakening Stones. So these are very big packages for people, especially like whales, when we get them usually during big events. So this is considered a big event. And you have a couple of the regular Shino coins on sale. And then lastly, the gold coins if you're going through the browser. So again, very cool things, guys, to log into. So you see here, Naruto's right there. And you can also get his wake, uh, weapon awakening pieces just by doing the regular campaign or elite mission campaigns. So they'll drop these little treasures or, or these gifts, I'm sorry. And you can use them to level him up. And then this is what I was talking about, the, fest the festival goodies, which are in the uh, marketplace. You can get one for free. Get one for 100 Rio. This is the medium pack, which gives you a couple of speed scrolls and a chance for an Omni fragment. And again, it's, it's RNG. Uh, and then other featured items for the large one is the Shino fragment SR, intermediate speed, and manual UR speeds. Um, and then also the last one, which is worth a million, definitely worth it, guys. It gives you a ton more. So let's actually go jump into it and see exactly what we're going to be getting. Okay, so let me just skip this real quick. So you can see here I'm on, on my free to paint account only because I, I actually unlocked everything on my real account. So we'll go back to that one later, but there it is. When you log in, you'll get this little option, press okay. And you'll end up getting Naruto in your roster. So that's really cool. So let's jump into the marketplace now. This is what I was talking to you guys before, right? When you log in, you're gonna get these nifty little um, socks and you're going to be able to open them up one the first one's for free and it gives you speed scrolls right the second one is worth 100k rio and if you open that one up it has a chance to give you a rare fragment plus these extra bonuses here so you see i got a couple speed scrolls a tribe orb and um some promotional items uh promotional elixir sorry and then you can open up the the third one which gives you a ur fragment which is important an sr fragment a tribe again a couple scrolls and gamma coins and then the last one gives you a heck of a lot more guys you're going to get yourself scrolls elixirs pots uh speed scrolls ur fragments and promotional boxes again so really cool i think this is going to be once a day so make sure you guys log in and get those as soon as possible because it's definitely going to be worth it all right well this is what i wanted to show you on this account i'm going to go back and jump into the main account all right guys welcome back so let's actually go through everything that's going to be offered. Now I mentioned to you guys the Rin Festival. Whenever you do campaigns, you get a chance to get fragments from Naruto as well as weapon awakening pieces for him. So that's really important. And Naruto himself is a great character. These are the drills I was referring to. I did complete them. Got an S rank, but you will need it. And then you also have to get these socks, which I mentioned every day. So make sure you log in and get those on a daily basis, guys. And it is worth Rio. Uh, it is worth it 100%. So you'll get a lot more. And this is, of course, the sales pack we're referring to. So let's actually go into uh, a mission here. And let's try to get a couple of these these uh, boxes. So I'll show you how it, how it kind of looks here. Actually, here, gold drills. So let's do this one first. So there you go. 350k power required to get double the gold. 100% guys, keep doing it. Even if you can't finish it, get it done. You'll get a ton of rewards in comparison to the new one. And it's limited time, I believe. And same with this one up here. The EXP pots, you're going to get double what you normally get. So make sure, guys, even if you cannot finish, try to get a ranking because you will get more than the 70, most likely. Uh, even if you're, I think, at 20, 30%. Um, okay, so let's actually go into an elite mission. I'm going to quickly go into here. And we're gonna oops, there we go. And we're gonna go ahead and do a couple. And I'm gonna show you guys the boxes that I was referring to. So right now I'm actually collecting uh, gear fragments for Naruto, Dunzo, and Gara. So we have quite a few to cover here. So I might do a Naruto Rin uh, Festival character first before I do Danzo as a showcase, just because he's a he's he's the festival character, and a lot of people are gonna be going for him. 
But essentially what you guys want to do guys is you want to click on any mission, just skip it as you normally would, you're going to see these boxes up here. See those, those presents up there? So those are going to contain fragments for Naruto and other items such as his awakening frags, uh, so not awakening frags, sorry, his weapon frags and other items in there as well too. So try to collect as much as you can. Now if you've been collecting bento boxes, this is the time to start using them, alright? So the uh, same thing applies here if you go to, let's just say a standard mission, right? So I'm looking to get my Kirin up here to tier 17. I'm going to need some of these, uh, these tiles here. So let's just go into any of them. There you go. Times 10. You're going to see each box drop. Keep collecting them and you're going to keep getting the uh, the fragments you need and the the weapon fragments you need to make sure that Naruto's up. Now Naruto himself is actually a really good character. Um, he's got a lot that he offers. He has the um, same as Sara does, AoE Confuse. And he has a couple of other, other buffs um, that, that make him better. Uh, not necessarily make the entire group better, but he is a little more of a selfish character than Sarada. Sarada is a better um, buffer for the for the party and the allies and the cells, but uh, Naruto does hit much harder because he is the, one of the brand new power creep characters. Okay, we don't need that. Discard that now. So, so yeah. And another thing I want to point out here is if you go to your um, your challenges. So let's just go to challenges real quick. Where's that? It's right over. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind here. It's too early in the morning right there um, you can actually do missions and clear things to get more of his fragments so make sure guys on a daily basis get these done like you need to level up skills you need to get level up for a character uh, I think there's logging in obviously um, so there you go there's a couple that I've done already doing elite missions doing standard missions so make sure you guys get these done the faster you get these done the faster you get him to five stars and then you guys can focus on getting him to seven stars as soon as possible so again anyone who's been collecting bento boxes continue to do so but with that said let's actually look at Naruto oh look I already got enough to four star him perfect let's get that out of the way should be five star by today by the time I'm done doing everything but there you go, a couple of the stat increases. So let's take a look at his link bonuses. So pretty easy. Sakura, Sai, very straightforward for attack, super easy. Shikamaru and Rock Lee, again, very easy. You can farm all these characters, guys. Uh, and then lastly, Hinata and Neji. So some of the easiest link bonuses you'll ever find. From a stats perspective, for a four star, not bad. Good crit rate, good crit damage, uh, good suppression rate, and of course, uh, he'll, that, those stats will go up as soon as you awaken him even further, right? Tribe special, so just with Sakura, he does a, a one hit to, uh, sorry, damage to one enemy, 100% chance to, uh, to confuse all enemies, and then he does uh, lowering just debuffs, he just just debuffs essentially with that one. So it's not a bad tribe, especially because it's an AoE uh, in that case, for at least for the, for the confuse part. So his Jitsu, also 100% chance to uh, confuse, lowers all enemies damage reduction rate, and lowers enemies guard rate by 20%. So really good debuffing uh, move. So his other one is gives more damage at 50% HP or more. So he does need to be protected and boosts his own critical rate by 8% at the start of the turn after an enemy has been defeated. And then 5% for critical damage increase rate, same scenario. And lasts for the rest of the battle, so it does stack. Okay, So if you defeat enemies, he gets stronger. Again, a very selfish character, though he is an A character that's common. And then his LB2's boost own attack start a turn after an enemy has defeated. So if you get his LB2, which you should be able to, uh, you've got a character that does more crit, more crit damage, and more attack. So he's just going to keep getting stronger and stronger as soon as people get uh, people start dying on the other end of the opponent side. So really, really good character. I highly, I like him personally. I think he's got a lot to offer. Uh, so definitely, guys, make sure you get him up, and he'll be great in places like Abyss, some FGs, and so maybe even ATB. Who knows? Depending on what what it offers, but definitely Abyss, he will shine. Um, PvP even as well too. All right, let's get his couple of gear up here. Get that promoted just to show you guys here. That's his his thing is the Rin Festival gift, and he's got the initial chakra of 250, which is fantastic. So if you have Sai, he's gonna have instant jitsu on second turn. Again, fantastic to have a confuse ready. It is the worst of the um, of the status effects, but it's still really good nonetheless. And honestly, being a free character, he's probably one of the better free characters. Banda's done a really good job with all the free characters. I have to admit. And they've always been very, very useful. Alright guys, so that takes care of Naruto. I'll do a showcase on him eventually. We'll do a full one, but that was just a quick overview. So let's collect this. There we go. Five. Get this out of the way. And um, while I'm at it, we may as well, I guess, take a look at what his actual Jitsu looks like. So if you guys haven't seen the sexy Jitsu, I haven't personally seen it either. So let's, uh, here, let's go into a battle. Let's actually try to use it and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove Haku here and put in Naruto. Where is he? There he is. And I just want to see with you guys what the Jitsu looks like. 
I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty good animation, um, but it's always worth taking a look at, right? So, all right, let's, uh, where is he down the list here? Okay, he's, he's pretty far down the list. So we'll just, we'll just do this as quickly as we possibly can, guys, and get through the list here until we get to him. All right, there's, oh, Haku didn't die. Wow, surprising. I thought for sure with Naruto and, and Itachi attacking, he'd be dead. Alright, so let's get these guys out of the way, get Shikamaru's out of the way. We can get two uh, two done after. And then we should have enough enemies left to pull off uh, Naruto's Jitsu. So, I am very surprised. A lot of people thought, including myself, it was going to be Hinata or Sakura, but uh, Bandai did a good job. Honestly, I have to give them a lot of credit for this. This is First off, the character that we're getting is, is great. But on top of that, what they're offering in this festival is fantastic. Like These are rewards that you normally would not be able to get unless you're purchasing them or you're a high-end player doing things like Abyss or FG and stuff. So good on Bandai for finally giving us a lot to work with, especially in a seasonal. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's take a look. I'll put 1.5. Let's have a look and see exactly what we get here. All right, so Sexy Jitsu. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Very nice. Jiraiya would be so happy. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, totally into that. Well, there you go, guys. There's the animation. I love that. That was actually really cool. I really hope we get more festival characters and stuff. That's It's such a cool thing for a game to have, and I'm really happy they introduced it. Well, guys, I hope you guys do focus on getting Naruto up. I think he'll be a good value for all characters and all players. Uh, he, he definitely brings a lot to the table for different events. So get him up. Enjoy this festival, guys, and we'll talk soon. This is Payne. Have a great Rin Festival, everybody. Take care.